electrification that I believe came out a few years ago. I put it on a Strapco Jubilee bracelet. Here's the Seiko um, Deep Sea. Uh, put it on a Barton uh, leather strap. Uh, moving on to some mid-tier stuff. Uh, here's Bell & Ross. Um, this is a 500-piece limited edition, but I think they have variation of this watch, and they call it limited edition. But just two uh, dials, and uh, I thought it was uh, very interesting. Um, I like it. Here's the Bomb uh, MSEA chronograph. Let me just try to take that glare away. Um, and here is the Tissot Ballade. Um, this is Tissot's chronometer certified, which I thought was very interesting for the, for the you know, sub $1,000 watch, I think. I think it was 900. I picked it up for probably maybe 30% off or something like that. Here's uh, the Bald um, Watch Company. Uh, it's a hunting watch. They did a collaboration with uh, Ducks World or uh, a TV series. Uh, I used that um, uh, for, um, um, I used to go hunting way in my early age, but now it's just once in a while, maybe once in two, three years I'll go if one of my friends are up to it. Uh, I don't actively hunt anymore. But uh, in the past, it was all about ethical hunting. Uh, we hunted and we ate. We only hunted the animals we would eat. Anyway, this is uh, the Hamilton uh, Fuel Khaki. I put it on bun strap, nice size, 38 mm. It has this uh, kind of like a needle on that um, hour and second needle tip or syringe tip. All right, looks nice. Um, here is a Seiko. Uh, Sarex 045, all platinum. They call it baby snowflake because the dial has uh, snow uh, on the ground type of um, uh, design. Um, here is uh, Seiko Tuxedo on its original bracelet. Nice, fits under the cuff, nice stress watch. Um, here is uh, Orient's take on full skeleton Front and back, actually. Back is also full skeleton. Uh, you can see the heartbeat. There's a power reserve on the top. And there's the uh, second, or is that a date? I just took, um, no, it's, it's, a, it's, uh, it's a second a dial. Um, here is uh, Orient Stars GMT. Um, a lot of these watches are discontinued. Um, but you know, uh, it has um, the GMT function is inside the dial with two um, crowns. Um, nice, I like playing with it. Here's a smiley face, Orient Star. I just kind of bought it because of this design. Uh, here is Orient's uh, waffle dial GMT. Um, uh, nice, sapphire uh, crystal. Uh, moving on to my Tudor, the top six. Uh, here is Tudor's most complicated um, uh, in-house movement. I think they have an uh, in-house module on a shared movement with Breitling, I believe, um, but has a mechanical alarm inside um, as part of their engine, which is very cool, I thought. I'm, look, I'm waiting for a crocodile, a crocodile leather strap Rock strap to put it on it. Here's the Monte Carlo chronograph. Here's GMT. Uh, it's a little chunky monkey. Um, so I took the original bracelet out and put um, um, Uncle Seiko. And um, I think it looks nice. You know, the, the watch sits pretty nicely on the wrist because the Jubilee bracelet just drops down and tapers the wrist very nicely. Um, and it's the same Uncle Seiko. Um, I put it on the uh, uh, Hair Tutor 41 and fits very nicely. Uh, here's the Ranger on the bracelet. Um, and here is the Royal uh, day date with the Roman numerals. Um, I find this watch pretty interesting. Um, here is the Seiko Marine Master, uh, one of, I think this is the most expensive Seiko I have in terms of um, 
you know, the, the, the Seiko collection. Uh, Blue dial, very nice, I believe. Um, this was actually, Omega was my, was my first luxury watch. I don't know, maybe bought almost 20 years ago, maybe 15, don't quite recall. Um, but uh, it was the second luxury watch I bought and the first Omega um, has a triple calendar. Uh, nice size, you can see it's all beat up because I've been wearing it, I wore it for a long time. And here is the first luxury watch I bought. Uh, this is 20 years ago at Torno in New York, um, right next to the Penn Station, that store was closed. Uh, I think 10 years ago they closed it. I even remember the sales rep, it was David Kang, a uh, nice young man. Uh, it's Mont Berlant, chocolate dial with a circular. 